Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I've got a quick video for you today. New feature, Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Outlook, a little bit of integration. I'm in my Outlook. I've received an email. You now have a feature at the top called Share to Teams. So here's an invoice. I need to send this invoice to the Accounts Payable channel. So here we go. Click on it one time, Share to Teams. The Share to Teams dialog box appears. Share to is at the top. Just so you know this, I could share it with one person as a chat, just so you know you can do that. But I want to send this to uh, Accounts Payable. That is the name of the channel, Accounts Payable. Click it. They are part of the finance team, so we have Finance, Accounts Payable. Really cool feature here. You can also type a message, but the cool feature is, do you want to include attachments or not? I actually tested this before this video with an email that had multiple attachments and it worked. This one only has one, which is a PDF file, but sure. Here is the invoice to be paid. Share. So let's go check out Teams accounts payable. Close. Teams happens to be running. What are the odds? Accounts payable. Here's the invoice to be paid. It is a threaded conversation, so I can get share more. There's the PDF file. Click on reply. Act like I'm somebody else. They say, got it. I do want to point this out. This is really important. That PDF file starts with the numbers 2214. As you know, any attachments or files that are put into post also are stored in files tab at the top. So if I go to files looking for 2214, uh, I do not see 2214. That is because it is stored under email messages. There it is. It even has the icon for new. It's the very first file, 2214. There you go. Appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day. Let me know if you like this new feature, Teams and Outlook integration. I do like it. Thank you.